Okay, on today's episode of Scrap Neat TV, we are going to be talking about blurring parts of a photo to help our main subject pop out more. So here's a picture we have of my son um, at the lake. And just like this, there's a lot going on in this photo. There are things in the background, there are other kids. Um, he could easily get lost in all of it. So just a subtle way to kind of blur some of this back here so that he pops more is what we're going to be doing. So to get started, we pull up our photo. I changed it from um, the background to a layer. So now I'm going to duplicate it because we always want to have our original intact. And I'm just going to layer that bottom one, original, and turn it off. Now we're going to go back to this one, and I'm going to make one more copy of it. And on the top one, we're going to apply a mask. To do this, um, we're going to, right down here, there's this little rectangle with a circle in it. Kind of always makes me think of a camera. I'm just going to click that. Now, remember what we've talked about before. White reveals black. Black hides white reveals. So, it's on white, and we haven't made any changes to it yet, but we're going to make the changes now while we can still see it. So to blur the photo, this is going to blur the whole thing, um, but we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and apply a Gaussian Blur. And make sure that the preview here is checked. And then we're just going to play with this slider a little bit. If we go all the way up, I'll just take a moment because I'm recording, so it always goes a little slower. Um, hmm, maybe not. I click cancel. I'll try this one more time. Okay, there we go. We've applied the blur, um, but I'm actually going to undo that and do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, because this lets us work with, there we go, the settings. So I just wanted to show if you go all the way up to a thousand pixels, you can't even tell what's beneath the photo. So we don't want to do that. That's way too drastic. But I found that for this sort of thing, if you do set kind of in the 10 to 15 range, you, you don't want it so blurred that you can't see or that it makes it too hard and you have like this drastic difference. You just want um, just enough of this kind of blurred out so it takes the focus away. Click OK. Now we could do one of two things. We could paint black over, oh, except not like that. <laughs> you have to highlight the actual mask itself in order for this to work, and I sometimes forget that. So we could go through with the black. Oh, whoops, it didn't. Okay, make sure the white there. Okay. See, we could color that to. Um, sharpen him back up to reveal what's underneath. But I actually like to work with this in black. So I'm going to do Command I to invert it to black. And because we're just going to color this back in so that it's all in black. Okay, I think I'm still missing a piece, but this will give us just the general idea. Okay, there, it's all black again. Now what we're going to do is take a white brush, and we're going to do kind of big to start off with, and we're just going to go over the parts we want to blur. I really don't want to blur the sand or the toys because they're kind of part of the picture. And don't get too close to your subject because we're going to 
do that a little bit differently. But just all of this outer stuff here, the kids in the background, the homes in the distance. Okay. Now to soften up and make it blend, because now you can still see kind of this harsh edge there. We're going to turn this to a gray. And that way it will only do half. And if we get, I think my brush is a little smaller, if we get a little bit of our test subject in there, that's okay. It'll just kind of help to give the beginning um, softer edge. Now we're going to go a little bit lighter. And even lighter. Working on the outer edges. So it just kind of blends in. And I didn't have to worry about getting too close. You can still see kind of the water behind him. You can get a little closer with that if you want. There's not as much of the hard edge right there. Okay, and then the last thing, um, if it still looks a little too blurry, you can always change the opacity. You know, obviously that takes it down too far, but if you just want to do it a little bit, to help it blend a little more, you can. And then merge the layers. And that's it. So we have our original photo underneath and the parts with blurred out and it just gives a little more pop. Okay, and that that's it for today. Music